Today we're going to make a, a candle holder um, for tea lights and I'm going to use a bead tool on it and I'll show you how to use that. I have a couple different sizes but you can get them in quite a variety of sizes and they're real nice. Nice even beads all the way around. Gives you a nice little uh, textured look. Alright, once the glue sits up, screw it up. Now we'll just go ahead and uh, start shaping it. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, put the hole in the center for the candle. Alright, the tea lights are inch and a half that I'm putting in. So I'm using an inch and a half uh, Forstner bit. I'm just going to put it right into the center there. Check the depth real quick. These are uh, right at a quarter, uh, three quarters of an inch. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it to that. So any piece of wood that's you know an inch thick or you know even even uh, just a little bit over an inch will work work with these. Any any scraps you have laying around, a little bit more. We're going to just go ahead and uh, work on the outside. I have a, uh, I'm going to do uh, a beads on this one around it, and I have these two uh, bead tools, and one of them is an eighth and one's a quarter. See that? We'll, uh, we're going to go ahead and use the quarter one and go all the way around it. It makes a neat little uh, texture around it. Just a neat, neat little texture. Just take the tool and just push it, push it straight in. It's like a scraper. Just put the, the side of the hook there, right in the other hole, and just push it straight in. Right until it starts to scrape against the back, and that means, and that way, round the whole piece over. Work your way around. As you come around the side here, once you have it in there, roll the tool around a little bit, and it'll, it'll round the whole the whole bead over. And then just keep working your way around the side.
and sand it up. Just fold your sandpaper over when you're working it. Run it, run it down each groove and then around the front too. This is a jig I made for remounting these. It's a washer and as you tighten the bolt down it expands the, the rubber washer. They're used for uh, pressure tests and you can get them in a variety of different sizes. Um, this one's just going to slide right inside there and, then, and as we tighten the, the bolt down this will expand and hold up in the chuck. So let's go ahead and uh, part it off. Back up. What you do is uh, just slide it through your head stock, screw it on. This is just a small faceplate chuck I had. Put a little, put a, I mean, turn that little uh, knob there, it slides right in the, the head stock inside there. Just put a washer on it and Tighten it up. Then you take your workpiece, slide it over it. Tighten it down. And it's on there. Then we can turn it, turn the bottom up. And these those uh those little rubber washers, <clears throat> the little rubber washers, this is a different size here. I think this one is two inch. Um, the one that's in there is inch and a half. Um, they come in a variety. You can get them all the way up to two and a half or four inch. Actually, for uh, pressure testing, um, like sewer pipe, four inch sewer pipe, they, they make big ones for that. So if you had something like this where you were doing a lot of them, a little jig like this works good. Uh That and then we'll sand the bottom up. That bottom bead uh, got cut off a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring it around just a little bit. Now we'll go ahead and sand it, sand the bottom up. Turn your late speed back down. Loosen it up. Pops right off there. Doesn't damage any of it at all. It's just uh, expansion to put that little piece of rubber on there to keep it from scarring up the front. But there you go. And they're nice, even all the way around. And you can get those uh, tools in a variety of different sizes. They're